It is finished. Now let us take a step back. Utu ujes, goguva ngeesha esu wini. Not to do my will, but ugu zengenze in tandu gangu The Apostle Paul says, though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. Ngamanyo amazu. He never fought for his position. He never clinged to his deity. Instead, he emptied himself of his kingship, being Christ the visible image of the invisible God. Understand this. And he became the very least. He took the form of a human being, the very human being that was created through him. The Bible says through him, God created everything. So Christ took the very nature of the human being. To redeem those who were under the law, which is us, so that there may be adoption into sonship, that we may be accepted by God, that there may be forgiveness of sins, that there may be full assurance of our salvation. But God chose us through Christ before he laid the foundations of the earth and he called us into his own family. I do not pray for the world or my prayer is not for the world but for those you have given me because they belong to you. Our adoption into the family of God was confirmed before the foundations were created. By being God, he understood that this process in Tandoyake had to be accomplished by a once and for all sacrifice. A sacrifice that surpasses all sacrifices, which was Jesus Christ. And through the death of Jesus Christ, the completed work of Jesus Christ on the cross, we are no longer subject or we don't we don't depend on the sacrificial system, but we now have complete access to God. You must understand that it was not easy. of the time when Jesus was at Gethsemane, when he prayed and said, if it is not possible, if it is possible, let this cup move from me, not as I will, but as you will. And in anguish, he earnestly prayed, little by little, he sweat dropped down like droplets of blood onto the ground. He was overwhelmed to the point of death because of thinking of this cup of wrath. Now you can imagine what we have been saved from. It seems like he was reasoning with his father. Is there no other way that we can accomplish salvation for men? Is there no other way to accomplish your will? And the answer to Jesus' reasoning was quite simple. The will, the plan, and the purpose of God had to be accomplished. And him being faithful as Jesus Christ, he pursued this plan. He pursued it to the point of death. Mutagaba will understand that we are no longer subject, and because of this, understand that we are no longer subject to law, we the ruling of the law because it was ended on the cross. Understand that we are no longer bound by worry, we are no longer bound by fear, we are no longer bound by the powers of the evil one because everything, because there was victory on the cross when Jesus Christ shouted, It is finished. Manuel, it is finished. Jesus Christ has completed it. He paid it all for us. We as the chosen ones walk confidently in, 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 in we walk in confidence and victory because Jesus Christ says, I have overcome the world. My conquest is accomplished. My victory is abiding. It is abiding. Understand that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. It may be formed, but it will not prosper against you because it is finished. What then shall we say, Bangmele, in response to this? God did not withhold his son, God to men, in order to accomplish his will, Christ died on the cross 
and he declared victory. He declared that it is done. He declared that the will of God is done on the cross just for you and me as undeserving as we are. So as you face the times of difficulty, whatever you are facing, remember that it is done. Victory is yours. It is finished. Jesus has finished it all. Oh, my God.